guys. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, September. God, I don't even know. September something. Um, hold on. I don't even know. September 14th? Maybe. I don't know. Let me log into my computer. Um, September 13th, sorry. Sunday, September 13th. It is 10, 18 a.m. Um, sorry, getting texts from the Sunday mom. So, status this morning on the fire. So, late last night, um, Clackamas County, which are, um, they have, they're the closest county to where we are. We're, we're, we're a few miles from the outskirts of Clackamas County, like three, less than five miles. And um, all of Clackamas County at one point was on, at, at the very minimum, um, a level one alert to get ready in case they needed to evacuate. There's a big fire there, um, uh, Riverside County, and then the adjoining county of Marion County also has Beachy Creek and Lion's Head. And uh, BG Creek and Lions Head have joined and they've become one big fire and they're close to joining to Riverside. Um, although I don't think they have yet and the firefighters apparently have gained some control. They don't have containment, but they've gained some control on the fire lines and they're able to stop it uh, for the last two days from spreading too much farther. Yay, because it's encroaching on a very populated area, not just ours. Um, and I feel sorry for the people who have already lost property, loved ones. There's just so many people, I think, that we don't even know about who have passed away yet from the fires. Um, anyway, um, regards to our situation, um, the air quality is over 500 again today. I literally can't go outside. If I'm even at the front door for five minutes with the door open, I get a headache, which is a sign of um, smoke inhalation issues, and I have to close the door and use my inhaler. So right now, for the first time in more than 30 years that we've been together, Bob is doing the grocery store, grocery shopping by himself, which has never happened. I usually always go with him or I just go. Not that I don't trust him, but it's just something that we always seem to do together because both of us hate grocery shopping, I think. Um, but um, he's going to be doing it alone. Um, he's at the gym right now to get, try to get some exercise in um, if he can get in. Um, he's taking all precautions and, um, he's carrying one of my inhalers, although he doesn't often need it. He, he has allergy related asthma, not asthma all the time. And that just means when he has an allergy attack, it usually goes into a breathing problem like right away. Um, which he shouldn't be outside either probably, but it, you know, He's a stubborn German New York man. I don't know what to tell you. He's just, yeah, there's no telling him. So I just told him, here, take this. That's all I can do. Trust me. We've been together almost 40 years. There's nothing else I can tell him. Anyway, so he's at the gym right now doing some low-impact exercise just to get out of the house. He is not an introvert. He does not like being down to the house all the time. This whole thing has been, with COVID and everything, has been really hard on him. He likes his people. He likes going to the office. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I'm perfectly happy to be stuck at home most of the time, except if you tell me I can't go shopping, that's a problem. <laughs> anyway, so I'm rambling, aren't I? So, Hey, it's been a fun week. Kind of, maybe it's been interesting. That's for sure. And it hasn't been boring. Um, I think I was talking the other day about trying to turn this little salve tin that I had into a watercolor tin. And when I first showed you all on social media that I was doing that, I used some air dry clay to make this to fit in it. Don't like it. It wasn't real happy with the way it turned out, although it did work fine. And it, I think if you coat it with a good quality water resistant sealer, it would work well for watercolors. I just wasn't super happy with that. I thought there was a lot of wasted space for one. So I used some plastic and E6000 and it needs to have a couple more, there's a couple spots I think that need some more glue, but I created this instead, which I like much better. I do really wish that I had a 3D printer because I think it would turn out much better. But yeah, that's it. There is a couple places I can see that I need to add a little more glue and let it dry, which is kind of one of the drawbacks of doing this kind of shape this way is, I don't, you, 
it's going to take a long time to make sure you've gotten all the spots glued together. So each little well is like what, you know, watertight, but yeah. Um, I don't know what I'll put in there, but yeah, it's cute. Um, I may decorate it and take the labels off the outside and actually put a piece of artwork on the top and sell it in the Etsy shop, um, empty. So I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, anyway, and I'm working on the bowl, the air, the air dry clay bowl. I gessoed the outside. I need to turn it over and gesso the inside. So I'll be working on that today. Good morning, people. It's Monday morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. 9.30? Take that back. 9.13 a.m. Um, I got a little bit more sleep last night than I had the last few nights, but, you know, we're not completely out of the woods yet, although things with the fires here in Oregon are improving. The smoke is getting worse. We won't be out of the woods for quite some time, but I think we're in a place enough that in the next... 24 hours we can maybe unpack the car some of the bags will stay permanently packed like we did create a um emergency bag of go clothing basically you can grab the duffel bag and just go in a hurry and that'll just stay packed um in case of any emergency so bo bonus to this whole thing is now we have go bag pack go bags packed um so yeah, and I will be creating a permanent art go bag either out of my two travel cases and using them when I'm not traveling or getting a case to do that in. Something something like that. I'm not sure yet. Okay, guys. St here's the status right now. It is, what time is it? 11.41 a.m. Um, I think I'm set up and ready to go to film a commitment video that I did tell them I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get done or not. I might be able to get it filmed today, so I'm going to give it my best shot um, I did put the empty suitcases and boxes and things we're not going to use, even if we do evacuate away. Um, it looks like we aren't evacuating, at least at the moment. So I do think at some point today or tomorrow, we're going to be unloading the car. As long as there's no drastic changes in the fire lines or anything. Um, I have to be careful how fast I go up and down the stairs. Um, even though the house air inside is fairly clean and we're keeping the furnace on, um, circulate so it recirculates and cleans um, the inside air pushes it through the filters um, I still have to be careful how fast I go up and down the stairs our air quality is currently 501 according to Oregon Department of Environmental Quality whatever whatever <laughs> um, and I went into the weird attic closet that's here just outside the art room where I store my blank canvas to grab something and um, the attic space that's on the other side of that closet, which there's another door for, um, of course, there's no circulation in there and it's vented right out to outside. And although the door between the closet and the attic is um, weather stripped, it's, yeah, that's closet. I'm going to go in and I'm going to tape and plastic off that attic door into the closet um, and then close the attic closet door and I'm just not going to go in there again. I am going to have my inhaler handy just in case. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a thing. And, um, yeah, fun times, right? All right. I'll be um, back. In regards to the fires, they scaled back the evacuation zones again, um, which is good news for those people affected. Um, we, of course, as I've said, are on the outer edge of Clackamas County and just outside and, um, so it's a concern for us, um, but we're keeping a close eye on what they're doing because as I've said, if, you know, the area closest to us goes to, you know, level two, we're out of here. Um, we are. Morning, everybody. It's 9.29 a.m. Tuesday, September 15th. <laughs> I forgot to do yesterday's writing for the Facebook groups. I didn't do all of it. I usually do Monday's writing and then I actually usually do all the writing for the week on Monday and I post the Monday stuff live and then I schedule everything else out. I forgot all of it. 
So I'm going to do it first thing this morning after I get things booted up here on the computer. And then I have the video commitment to edit that I got filmed yesterday. Hopefully the lighting was semi-okay and all of that jazz because, you know, yeah. I've used my inhaler once already. Um, it's, I'm going to say it's just so very sweet of you all to check in on me and make sure that I'm doing okay with my asthma and the smoke and everything and that Bob and I are safe. I'm not going to tell you not to because we appreciate it and, and we feel so blessed that so many care. And I want to tell you how much I appreciate that. With that being video is edited and rendering at the moment and I will get it uploaded and scheduled on YouTube as soon as that's done. Um, I've been working in a Strathmore soft cover tone tan sketchbook. If you follow me on social media, you've seen some of the drawings for that, um, especially recently. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, how come? You can click on my link tree list of links in the video description and find all the places I am on the internet. Etsy shops, Amazon affiliate links. Um, if I still have that in there, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> um, but also Instagram, Facebook, art groups, and all that stuff. So check it out. Anyway, um, the soft cut, I love the paper. So let me start off by saying I love the tone tan and tone gray paper. And it's often a nice change of pace rather than just sketching on white paper all the time. Um, I love the idea of working with a colored, solid colored background. And um, I enjoy both of these tone colors very much, the tone tan or the tone gray. Um, what I don't enjoy is the soft cover book I'm finding because although they say it opens flat, it doesn't really open flat. And if you're like me and you like to draw on both sides of the paper, like you can't really draw on the back side. I've been trying and it's just not working. With that being said, I don't know right now if I'm going to stop using the sketchbook because it does irritate the crap out of me. Um, or if I'm going to just let it go and fill it up on just single sides. Um, I did find I had, and I must have been concerned when I bought it, because I do did find that I have two of the, what size is this? I don't know. Oh, five and a half by eight and a half inch spiral bound tone, one tone tan and one tone gray already in my collection, which means I either picked them up on clearance somewhere or at one of the art salvage places when I was traveling or something. I don't remember, and these may be from an art salvage place, I don't remember, but I don't really enjoy always spiral bound either, but the bonus benefit to that is opens very, very flat. And if you wanna draw on the backside, you just fold it right. I mean, y'all get the idea, right? So. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. Um, I don't mind working in the hard bound or soft bound books when I am watercoloring, but generally speaking, it seems like the watercolor notebooks of that variety open a lot flatter than the sketchbooks. I don't understand what the deal is. Maybe it's just me. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I'll have a tip or trick or a hint or a brand or let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. All right, I've got my random collection of washed out containers to use for art or other projects I brought upstairs to add to the hoard. Um, <laughs> I've got my air dry clay bowl that I need to work on. Um, I haven't done anything with this yet, so I need to work on getting the labels off. Always things to do. It's never boring around here. All right, that's it. Hey guys, I didn't film all of it because I literally have spent like at least an hour, probably more, mixing paint. Um, but I took some old um, tubes of watercolor paint that I haven't used in a while, but I don't want to get rid of. Um, some I'm glad I did because some were really, one I had to throw out, it was completely dried up and I honestly, I could have reconstituted it, but yeah. And mixed them together to get a neutral palette.
guys. Yes, we're on the floor of my closet. <laughs> so I just wanted to this week go over um, some emergency preparedness. So no matter where you live in the world and in the country, there's some form of natural disaster that could happen. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. And Bob and I haven't been intending to do this for a really, really, really long time. The fires just made us do it like now. <laughs> so I have this bag here. This is by the um, eyeglass and um, sunglass company, Belay. Um, this bag is probably 30 plus years old. Um, fun fact, for those that don't know, back in the day, I was a li state and nationally licensed dispensing optician and uh, lab tech. I'm, I was the person that made your glasses <laughs> and um, fit you properly for them. And um, I worked in the field back in the day when you got merch and PR from the companies. <laughs> and um, this bag was one of those things. And I have had it so long and we have used it so much. Um, and it's been washed more than once. It still looks like that. It's a great bag and it's very big. So we have both of our clothes in here for a few days, uh, a couple pair of shoes, and um, we are now putting emergency meds in here and um, basically getting it ready. I did put a notation in my cell phone to uh, remind me, um, you know, yearly we have the reminders in our phone, change out the smoke alarm batteries, um, and now change out the emergency bag meds. <laughs> so, you know, it's just one more thing, right? So I'm going to show you what we're doing for emergency toiletries that will be added to this bag um, within the next week. And there'll be a permanent addition to the bag. And like the medication, we'll check on them once a year. And um, yeah, let's go to the bathroom now and do that. I'll be back. And oh, for the bags, um, for clothing, we have, you know, a few days of underwear, uh, socks, um, at least two pair of pants, some shirts, a sweatshirt, a sweater. Um, you want to have enough stuff to layer. You know, I don't, you don't know when the emergency is going to happen. It could be summer, but it could be in the middle of winter when it's snowing and you might not have any time to do anything except grab this bag. So you want to have to grab the minimum of stuff before you leave the house in case of an emergency. If you have extra time, cool. But if you don't, you can at least grab this bag. All right, let's go to the bathroom and I'll be Dollar right Dollar Tree has these little clear plastic bags. Do they have a name? It just says ladies clear plastic bag. They're from Dollar Tree and cost a dollar. I've used them for a number of things. I have a little mini drawing bag and one on the couch. Um, I ha grabbed a couple extra last time I was there. Didn't know why I was grabbing them, but now I know. So they will be the emergency toiletries bag. And um, I have one... I've started filling mine. Bob's going to fill his the next time we're out at the store. Um, I've already started packing mine. He's going to do the same. And then whatever sort of small trial size or travel size products that we're missing, we'll pick them up when we're at the store. We'll fill this, put it in the clothing bag, and it'll just live there in case of an emergency. Um, we can check on it once a year and make sure nothing's getting gross. And in case of an emergency, we're good to go. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to go upstairs now and check on email and stuff. I'll be back. Hey, good morning. <laughs> it's Wednesday morning, September 16th, I think. I think. Um, they have some small percentage containment on the three big fires southeast of us. Um, the Riverside Fire in Clackamas County and the Beachy Creek and Lion's Head Fire in Marion County, Marion, I think. Um... They're all three big, huge fires, and they're close together, and they've burned like 6,000 acres, 600,000 acres or something. Anyway, it's good news. Uh, smoke, still smoky outside, um, although our air quality is a bit better today. It's not 501 anymore. It's less than 300, at least this morning. I don't know what will happen as the day goes on. Haven't gotten any rain yet, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check on my computer. Good morning, I'll... everybody. It is 10.35 a.m. Thursday, September 17th. I almost said Friday. Um, I have been a filming maniac the last two days and I've got a bunch of video clips I just downloaded to my desktop um, from the phone. Um, 
to create two Patreon uh, videos and then two YouTube videos. I played with my phone settings and hopefully things are a little clearer and sharper. Um, I've had the phone for a few months. I just now discovered the settings. I don't know what to say. It's the apocalypse. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Good morning, everybody. It's about 9.30 in the morning, Friday, September 18th, I think. <laughs> um, I almost said February. There are some times, like right now, where I really wish I was a prepper. <laughs> I really wish I had things like an air quality meter. Um, we are... You hear that? It's raining. Um, air quality is rapidly dropping into healthier ranges and while it's not perfect by any stretch, it is good enough that I can open the garage door and be standing out here. I have my carbon filter mask, which funny enough, I have uh, filters that filter out things like smoke. I carry them in around in the house all the time because there are times because of my asthma that we're in situations where I need to wear a mask with one of those in it. Um, I don't wear them all the time, but we're, you know, especially when we're traveling, I bring them. Um, so I have one of those. I've been feeling like I'm in jail. I like staying home, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna run out and run one or two really quick errands as safely as I can while I'm feeling okay. <clears throat> yes, I'm a little bit crazy throated. So I'm gonna use the inhaler a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go try to get it done. We might be getting some more thunder and lightning, so I don't wanna be out driving in that. So I'm gonna to try to get what I, I wanna do done before that happens and we'll see how it goes. Nice. I'll be back. All right, so lighting is funky. At least this time, I don't think it's from just smoke. It's um, not even three o'clock in the afternoon yet. It's very dark in here, despite the fact that I have lights on because it looks like it's getting ready to storm again. Did I mention earlier when I got on camera that I've been up since about 3.12 this morning? <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm making some more um, of the small daily drawing books. Um, the finished ones look about like this. So how I do these, I get asked a lot. I make my daily drawing books because I like them a particular size, a particular kind of paper. And when I work in them, I like the book to be just for one month. I don't like it to have more pages than that. So I take a file folder and I cut it to eight and a half by 11. And then, so I get two sheets of paper out of it and I print some of my digital artwork from the Etsy shop on one side of the paper. And that becomes the cover. These are a natural craft colored file folder from state. You can see from Staples. Then I have a ream of 70 pound drawing paper uh, I like a particular weight and kind of paper so that it enables me to use most mediums, not all, but most, on both sides of the paper without work showing through too much. You can see it shows through a little bit, but it's not too bad. And that one's got a lot of water color -y stuff on it. So I prefer this weight and texture of paper for these little practice daily drawings. Anyway, I'm out of the ones with white paper in them, so I'm making four more because I've got a project coming up for October that I want to do, so I need something to do it in. All right, I'm going to get to it, and I'll be right. back. Four of these done. I pulled one out for the project I need to work on. The other three are in the closet. Um, when I was looking for the book binding supplies, <laughs> I found a bunch of yarn fibers that y'all have sent me and or have accumulated over the years not to knit with, but to do book binding and slow stitching with, they were in the bookbinding box. I'm never gonna remember to use them if they're nice over there. I was talking to the, myself without the camera on. Um, so I took um, this drawer here, which now is full of the yarn type fibers that you all have sent me that I'm not necessarily gonna knit with. I'm gonna use for stitching and maybe bookbinding too. I put the tools and fabric and uh, things that were in there in here. I have a couple aprons I need to embroider in. I've got some napkins down here and stuff like that. The embroidery hoops won't fit in there, but that's okay because I put them here. I had some stitching tools here anyway. I found a strip of magnet. I didn't know where it went to, and I just realized that magnet goes to this board that I use to hold my embroidery charts when I'm working on like a cross-stitching project. Um, now that means that my bin is cleaned out and really truly only has bookbinding stuff in it down there. 
No hidden surprises. Um, I did something else that I can't remember. I got the book done. Oh, I rearranged some things in the closet. Um, I combined paper making and dyeing distressing tools and supplies together in one bin. So I have one less bin in here and it makes it easier to get to things like the polymer clay and some of the larger cutting tools when I need to get to them because there was like a bin on top of the bin. Like, yeah, I need to make it simpler, not harder. I think. All right, I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, all right. So one of the projects that I'm gonna work on for October is part of the Project Pan art supply style that I've been doing all year. Um, where I go through supplies, especially ones that I haven't used much or have way too many of, and I use them up, use them and decide to give them away, use them and decide to put them in regular rotation with my other art supplies. You get the idea, right? Use it or lose it. Um, one of those things is pencils. I know, right? So. For those that don't know, I used to teach um, painting and drawing for Michaels. Um, and a lot of these are from there, from teaching. Not all, but some. Um, I haven't touched these since before we moved. Um, I found them in a bag. They were very neatly put away. I think there's a few more somewhere, so hold on. Um, I have a rack over that way um, of mark making tools and each color is in a bin like this with a label. Um, and I saw this on somebody else's video, it's not my idea. Anyway, all the orange things are in a bin together and my orange pencils are in there. Um, so when I want to color with an orange color pencil, here's one right here. I want a Stabilo all pencil that is water soluble in the orange, there's one there. And I think I do still have a few Crayola pencils. I'm not a huge fan of Prismacolor, but I do have some and there's also some like Derwent artist pencils. So these I grab when I'm working on a project up here on our journal page, these I grab or I'll, if I'm gonna do some drawing downstairs, I know I'm gonna do say uh, California poppies, which are orange, then I would grab a few things out of here and take them and use them. In the meantime, I've got all of these. So, and I don't even remember what, <laughs> what all of these do. <laughs> Um, and I need my glasses. So I have Stabilo Carbothello, which I think is sort of a pastel chalk pencil. I have a lot of different kinds of graphite pencils, the different hardnesses. Um, some charcoal pencils, pastel chalk pencils, there went graph tint, which I think is another kind of charcoal pastel pencil. Um, General's sketching pencil. Um, a drafting pencil. Interesting, it must have come in a set. Um, sketch and wash, that one's water soluble. There is a Stabilo All pencil. General's layout pencil, love this pencil. Um, so my point is that I wanted to talk to you about this. We're going to go through like these pencils as part of what we do um, next month and I'm going to try them. The ones that I like, I'm going to keep. If I feel they need to stay in the set that they're in, like all of these graph tint pencils, then I'm going to find a different way to have them here in the art room because have them away in a bag, it's too hidden. I forget that I have them. Um, but there are some up here that I want to take downstairs. For instance, this is a Prismacolor um, graphite pencil. Uh, 6H. Um, this is a double-ended Carandosh uh, colored pencil, red on one side, blue on the other. And then those three I was just talking about, the Sketch and Wash, layout pencil and the stabilo pencil. These I want to take downstairs. 
Um, I generally don't erase anything in my daily drawing book, which is why sometimes things turn out and sometimes they don't, but you know. But I'm gonna take these. Um, I may take a blending stump with me downstairs. The rest of this is gonna stay down here and we're gonna work on using it or losing it in October. I have a journal all set up. We do have a list of special prompt words. We have um, a name for the project. It's called Artpocalypse 2020. And the words will be released at the end of the month. I think I already mentioned this in the vlog already. I don't know, in the footage somewhere. Um, it'll be released, released a day or two before the first, so y'all have time to like print it and all that stuff. Um, and decide what you wanna do. If you wanna, like me, uh, work through a daily drawing book, um, trying out some new supplies, um, drawing wise or painting, or um, maybe you want to do some collage prompted by each thing. Maybe you want to do some photography. Maybe you want to do some writing, whatever it is, share it. I'm going to combine, combine project pan art supply style and the idea of using it or losing it like all together, like in a thing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to go downstairs. It's raining again. Yay. <laughs> air is clearing every time I check it it's getting lower and lower we're not below 100 yet I don't think but we're getting there so woohoo <laughs> I want to go to the we have to go to the grocery store um tomorrow um I'd like to go with him just because other than the trip like this morning for like an hour I haven't been out of the house and um to the point where I'm missing going to the grocery store which is something I hate doing so yeah I don't know I'd also like to resume my evening walks at some point. That would be nice. All right, anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back, bye. So it's Friday evening, it's 5.30, and we are grand dog sitting. So yeah, oh, paws in my face, so. Friday morning. Ah, oh, Friday. Holy cow. It's Saturday morning. I'm looking at the computer. I still get it wrong. It's Saturday morning, September 19th, 9.05 a.m. Um, we're puppy sitting for a couple of days. And here she comes up the stairs to see what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I am turning on the computer to check on a few things. And we're gonna go out and run some errands and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm looking forward to going to the grocery store. <laughs> That's how long I've been stuck in the house. So we got a bunch of shopping done this morning. We had some lunch. We're now gonna go out for a walk and I am so enjoying being out in the fresh air. Yes, I do have this with me just in case, but hoping I don't need it. All right, I'll be back. In the garage now because we finally got the last pair or set of feet in for the last cabinet, that one on the floor, that's gonna go in the corner with the gardening stuff and, and sporting equipment in it. I just have one question. So new age? Yeah, I'm gonna hashtag you down below, but um, so we just needed four feet with the adjustable lever leveling little things, four of the feet brackets and four of the actual leveling feet for this cabinet. We told you twice. Two tries and four weeks. For the first time, you sent us a bag of screws. Second time, we got two boxes. We got the four black feet with the leveling little things that we needed. Thank you, because you can see they're on the cabinet. You see that box over there? Yeah, we got a second set of brackets. Same as the black ones, only white. If you don't believe me, it took four weeks. It took four weeks to fix the whole thing. And you can see our cabinets are so white, huh? 
Anyway. So. But they came out nice. A little confused. No, they did come out nice. We love the quality. Great product. But yeah. I don't know. And, no, you can sure. see, and you can see my dad fixed the outlet, so yay. The outlet's in. Yeah. Anyway, okay. we're going to get the cabinet up. We'll be back. guys so it is Sunday lunchtime but I forgot to close last week's vlog last night oops so as you saw in the previous clip the air has cleared up although things are still on fire I'm able to breathe and walk and it's all good so we'll hope they get the fires under control soon and out they have partial control but not a lot Anyway, it's been another weird week, but what do you expect? It's the apocalypse. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Uh, check out the description for ways to do that by shopping in the Etsy shop or becoming a patron over on Patreon. Or There's a number of different ways. There's a link that says link tree and then my name in the description Ch click on it you'll find all the places i am on the internet including ways to support so there you go if you have a favorite content creator here on youtube or an artist over in facebook they probably have a way to support them too so check out their video descriptions and if you can't figure out a way ask them all right that's it for this week stay safe stay creative hey. stay healthy <laughs> go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And yes, Lily go poop. <laughs> Lily go poop. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.